Alright, so uh, the gameplay that you're watching in the background is some random TDM gameplay I got recently on Black Ops 3, uh, playing on the DLC map Citadel, which is kind of what I want to talk about today, not the map itself, but just DLC maps in general, because when it comes to whatever Sledgehammer are doing this year, whether that is Advanced Warfare 2, or whatever their other plans are, you know, obviously you've heard the rumours of a Vietnam game, First off, I'm going to apologise if my voice sounds all fucked up. It is. Uh, I don't know what's up, but I've got a really sore chest at the moment, so I do apologise for that, because it's, like, I don't know, I sound weird, I guess. But, um, yeah. When it comes to whatever Sledgehammer are doing this year, there's a couple of things that I want to see in the game. Now, the first thing is something that's been asked for for a long time in the COD community, and that is we need a DLC disablement option in the main menu. Now, Basically what this option would do is allow you to select and deselect map packs that you don't want to play on. You know, you can choose the the uh, DLC that you don't want to play. And what I mean by this is that you still have the DLC installed on your console or your PC, but you just don't play it and it doesn't search for it. Now, I know of other games that do this. I can't remember what games do it, but I know for a fact that there is quite a few games out there that do matchmaking like this and it works. Now you see why it'd work for a COD game so well is because when a COD game is out of its life cycle, generally what most people used to do and still do to this day is delete all their DLC. Now this is a top tip right here. Uh, if you want to play Black Ops 3 and if you want to have the best connection then I highly recommend that you delete all of your DLC. Uh, except from Nuketown, of course, and maybe the Giant Zombies map if you've got it, but any DLC packs, just delete them, uh, get rid of them, because the thing is with those DLC maps is it basically pits you in with a lower percentage of the playlist than you normally would be able to access. Say, for example, you've got 50,000 people playing Black Ops 3 right now. I don't know if that is the exact count, but for example, if you've got 50,000 people on Black Ops 3 right now, right? and uh, you've got all four DLC packs, you will only be able to play with the people that have the DLC packs. So say if only a quarter of those 50,000 players have the map packs, that is 12,500 players that you'll I'll be allowed to play with. And that's just the way it is. DLC works like that. Uh, I heard somebody mention it in a video a long time ago. It was 8Fox. He was talking about map packs. And he mentioned that map packs are very much like skill based matchmaking in a way. Because when you install a DLC map pack, of course, you're playing with the select bunch of people who really enjoy Call of Duty. Because, let's be honest, if you're Timmy No Thumbs and you get smashed on Call of Duty every single day, why are you going to buy the DLC? Chances are you probably won't. Now, you see, I'm not saying that all DLC players are good, because obviously there's a lot of noobs on them. But uh, you all know that there is a lot more tryhards on the DLC maps, that is for sure. And that's because obviously the people that are more uh, above average players are the people that are informed about Call of Duty and those are the people that buy the map packs, not Timmy No Thumbs or, you know, this guy just got a copy of the game for Christmas. You know, half these noobs that are now playing the game, the people that you want to be playing against, they're not playing the DLC maps, they're playing on the vanilla base game maps. Which, I get a frustration with that, and I do feel frustrated with that at times in Black Ops 3 because, I'm going to be honest, not every single one of the vanilla maps is very good. There's some really bad ones in my opinion. And that's why I would prefer having a disabled DLC option in whatever Sledgehammer do the next year, whether that's Advanced Warfare 2, or if that is that Vietnam game that being, people have been talking about. Whatever it is, if it's got this disabled DLC button in it, you know, it basically means that you can still play the game in years to come, which is a really good thing, and plus if they do zombies or whatever with Treyar uh, Sledgehammer's next game, that means that you don't need to delete the DLC pack, you can just disable it, which means that you can still play the zombies map, which is the biggest gripe that I've got about it with Treyarch. Because with Treyarch, obviously, they ship the zombies map with the multiplayer maps, and when you delete the DLC pack, that's not just the multiplayer maps, that is the DLC zombies map also gone. And that's why I just prefer that button, it generally helps you out a lot more, especially if you enjoy playing the game after the game's over, because I can tell you, I do like going back and playing certain CODs. Uh, for example, Advanced Warfare, I enjoy playing that game, but the thing is with that game, you need to delete your DLC if you want to find any matches on that game. And I'm not even kidding, like I can be sitting there at peak time on a Friday night in the UK, 
And uh, if I'm sitting there with all the DLC packs activated, well, people, I'm not going to get matched up with anybody. That's the way it works. And uh, it's extremely frustrating, but that's the way CODs matchmaking works. If you don't have the DLC, then you won't be matched up with those people. But if you do have the DLC, then you won't be matched up with people that... You'll only be matched up with people that have a DLC anyway. Yeah, it's annoying the way it works, but it's just called shitty matchmaking again. You know, it's, it's always Call of Duty's uh, matchmaking. It's always been terrible. I don't know why they can't just implement something like this, because it really would help out. And, uh, to be honest, I, I don't get it, because they're not exactly going to be wasting any money. Because it's not like you're buying just the Zombies map, which would mean less profits. You know, you're still paying full price for the DLC pack. It's just that it can be a little bit courteous if Activision gave you a way to still play the game after the life cycle's over. But then again, I guess they just want you to go into the next COD. But, you know, it's, it's something I'd love to see Sledgehammer implement in their next game. Because uh, whatever it is, I'm excited for it. But this is just one of those things that I really need to see implemented into the game because it really would help. Uh, the player base in some of these games, because trust me, there is a lot of people that would still love to play Advanced Warfare, and they'd still love to play the DLC maps, myself included. I love the DLC maps for Advanced Warfare, and that's not even like me with the rose tinted glasses or anything, you know, how everybody looks back at these old CODs and they love them so much. You know, I've always loved that game, and I've, like, I've always said that on my channel, that I've always loved that game, but it's, it's something about those DLC maps, they were so fucking good. Like, I get that some people just didn't like Advanced Warfare because of the way the game was. I mean, I respect your opinion if you didn't like it because of the movement, you know, that's completely fair enough. But, uh, for me, like, the DLC maps were fucking insane. There was, like, one of them, uh, it was Sideshow, I think. Sideshow, I think that's what the map was called. Uh, it was set in, like, an abandoned motel, and that map was just so fun to play on. There was a whole bunch of other ones that I can't really remember the names of, but I remember how they play. It's, it's just one of those things, man. I, I'd love to be able to play the DLC after the life cycle, but then again, I'd love to be able to find matches, so... You know, it's, it's kind of just whatever. But, uh, yeah, if there's any gameplay left in the background, I'll leave it to run through. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been a long courier, and uh, I apologise for the lack of uploads recently. Not be feeling well, but it's just my throat and my chest. I'm not too sure what it is, but I'll be back to regular uploads soon. So, uh... Yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll leave the gameplay running in the background. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, and uh, just a quick side note before I finish off the video. One thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I recently joined a clan called USK Gaming. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description if you want to go and check them out. It's a pub stomping team. But no, I'm obviously not one of the pub stompers. I am a commentator for them. So uh, if you want to go and check out a couple of the videos. I will leave the video that I commented on, commentated for, I will leave that down in the description if you want to go and check it out, and uh, feel free to drop a sub to those guys, there will be more videos of me commentating over Deatomizer Strikes and whatnot in the future, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys later, peace.